the Sky 4, only on Channel 4 Action News everywhere. Yeah, this is a tough day for us. Coming up, Liz will look back at some of her most memorable moments, and of course, she's going to say goodbye. So stay with us. bury that statue of St. Joseph in her yard, testing the legend that yeah. doing that would actually help you sell your house. And it actually worked. One week later, one week to the day, she had a buyer, and now Liz is packing up and moving to Phoenix, where her husband David has a great new job. But she couldn't leave without taking one last look at the many memorable people she has met in her years at Channel 4. I've spent the last few days fast-forwarding through the past eight years of my life pausing here and there to reflect on some of the many memorable moments. Right, and slow, slow. Good, Liz Miles. Here we go, and slow. I took my first tango lesson on TV, and my last. I attended the Pee Wee Prom. I took a good look at what life is like on the road for deadheads. From California to Pittsburgh, we made it, yes, for American hippies. I uncovered underwear as art. This is a pet bowl made from a bra. <laughs> See the bra. And in an unrelated story, I covered the playmate of the year who came to town to make her first B movie. I loved the elaborate funeral where middle school kids buried the chickens they had mummified as part of their unit on ancient Egypt. Yeah. Music makes good TV. There was the singing cab driver. It's now or never. Sugar in the morning. And the singing Samanko triplets who sound alike, look alike, and when they heard our photographer had just had a baby, they reacted alike. Oh, congratulations. And there was the time I judged the national anthem auditions for the penguins. Trends from wonder bras to baby massage to women smoking cigars. I'm in. Now that is sexy. That is sexy. Woodstock 2 was a singular assignment. Between the mud and the garbage and the naked people and the claustrophobic crowds, four days of Woodstock wore me out. I came face to face with my share of animals over the years. The teeth cleaning cockatoo stands out, and Sabrina the Teenage Tiger was a memorable encounter. I proved storytelling was in my blood with this illusionist. Okay, no, no matter what happens, don't jerk, don't move, because... <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> you better cover the kid's eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wipe that off. And there, you see, it was merely an illusion. Sometimes the job has required me to rub elbows with the rich and famous. I hear you saying, oh, come on! Plenty of celebrities have come to town and been willing to sit down for a chat. But you said, to no, Park and get me. some eggs in that? Others have come home to Pittsburgh. Michael Keaton came back to premiere his Batman movie. I gave him a hat from his former employer, Yellow Cab. He pulled your old personnel file, and you know what it said? What? Never worked here. Do not rehire. <laughs> Drove like a bat out of hell. There you go. Sometimes I've gone on the road for celebrity sessions. I got to go backstage with Oprah. And Andre thought giving me shorter hair would make me look thinner. Not. And on location with the cast of NYPD Blue. But the best stories are always about the real people. Tom Barrasso's daughter, Ashley. I was brave and strong and I, and, I, and I don't have the cancer anymore. Dr. Jim Withers, who makes house calls to the homeless. Oh, I appreciate you know anything you do to me. Oh, Mia, there's Susan. Go give her a hug. I'll never forget Mia, whose life was saved by a bone marrow transplant, meeting her donor. I'm being realistic. I don't have much time. Or Erin, who won her childhood battle with leukemia, but lost her battle with AIDS ten years later. Or Joey, whose dream of becoming a Navy aviator came true on the USS Eisenhower thanks to Make-A-Wish. He was buried in his flight suit. I was there for the emotional moment when Pittsburgh's first Russian orphans arrived to meet their new families. I'm so happy for them, the children. And I was there three years and several hundred adoptions later for their reunion picnic. It was even more emotional watching dozens of kids return home to their contaminated town of Chernobyl after spending an idyllic summer with local families. We get them healthy and we get them strong and we give them hope. But when they go back to that radiation, we just don't know what it's doing to their bodies. The leukemia and thyroid cancer takes the kids awful quick. 
so many memorable moments, but some of the best are not on tape, but in my heart, which was said so much more eloquently by my all-time favorite interview subject. The really wonderfully nourishing things of life always happen in the wings, rarely in the spotlight. It has been a privilege to have shared so many significant moments in so many people's lives. I have cried a lot doing this job, but I have laughed even more. I have been inspired, in awe, and at times incredulous, but I have never been bored. Pittsburgh has provided me with an unending supply of wonderful stories to tell, and that's what I love to do. Um, and I couldn't have done it without the help of all the people in this newsroom. They are some of the best in the business. I'm going to miss them a lot. And so I guess what I need to say is thank you for all those moments and all those memories. I will take them all with me to Phoenix, um, along with the friendships that I've made here that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. And I don't really want to say goodbye, especially in this newsroom that coined the phrase, Hello, Pittsburgh. <laughs> so I'm just going to say, Hello, Pittsburgh, one last time. Mike and Michelle. Well, you leave us uh, without much to say, Liz. You're the same beautiful person in the wings and in front of the spotlight, and we all are already miss you deeply. Yeah, I was thinking about some of your stories, the courage to come back. You gave people go undergoing such difficult times such dignity, and all your stories really moved me. And your husband must have get a moving uh, van to cart away all your Emmys alone. <laughs> yeah, Liz. Well, we're taking a lot of videotapes with us, I'll tell you that. All right. We'll Liz, miss you. We'll miss you. Action News at 6 is straight ahead.